as you can recall from the last tutorial what was left is to connect these pieces together that's what I did I added extra segments using cut and then I used target weld to weld them together of course you can use branch uh, one of the uh, followers asked me to deactivate the grid so you can just press G from your keyboard to activate it or deactivate it this is it's much better without it so fine as you wish so now I need to create this part and make a copy of it but first I want to make this button this small button and put it right here so I can go to create I will make a box I will go to top view and it will be right here in the middle but before I make it let me create some segments so I go to editable poly I go to polygon mode I need to make some segments right here so let me use the swift loop I need one here and another one right here now I need to go to vertex mode let me get back to the photo I need it to be here and it's gonna be round so uh, that makes it this this group of vertices so I go to edge mode and then I double click this edge push it this edge and also push it oops now I need to go to vertex mode select these four vertices and use chamfer Maybe first I need to take this edge to the right and this one to the left so nothing bad can happen. I get back to vertex mode same selection go to chamfer and this looks fine to me I press ok and then I go to my polygon mode I select these four polygons I use extrude with a negative value I will make it minus 10 and press ok now if we get back to perspective view to see what we have we have a hole where we will put our button in so I get back to top view and I will manipulate the rest of vertices these two needs to be scaled on the y-axis like this and same for these two so I can have a round shape if we select this editable poly and I go to use NERM to make sure it looks like a hole or not fine it looks fine for me and later I will make a creased edge here so let me deactivate the use NERM and now I can create my uh, button at the very same position but just let me take this okay so I go to create a box 
and it will be exactly right here you know what we can use extrude instead of creating a new object we can make an object from the same object so let me get back to uh, let me deactivate this create box and I will go to polygon mode same selection I will use insert uh, let me make it 2 press ok and I will use insert again so I can have another edge and this one this time I make it 1 and press ok and now I will use extrude with a positive value I will make it 50 press ok let me get back to perspective view to see what we have I think it's better than creating a new object and it gives me the same effect look right here it looks like a button inside a hole so let me chamfer this or bevel this let me make a bevel something like this will work and 10 is too much okay let me do it again let me make it 5 and press ok so we created the bottom uh, I think we have something with the vertices so I go to left view and I need to select this group of vertices and grow my selection and then use uh, maybe I don't need to grow selection let me do it one by one that's fine and let me do the same I select the edge then I press control and press the vertex mode to select the same vertices let me scale it so it looks even fine get back to perspective view see what we have here I like this but something we have some weirdness in these vertices so we get back to left view and we need to manage these vertices it moved from its position this too oops need to be pushed mm. that's it so I go to perspective view and I created my button and of course press ctrl s of course you can use uh, another material for selection you can select for instance let me grow my selection so I can go to material editor and use the darker material for this one if you recall we're using uh, three materials for now the white for the uh, rings the light color and the dark color material so I use the dark material for this one assign material to selection so fine in the next tutorial I can make the tricky part which will be connected on both sides I may use a cube for this so I can make two copies of it and then I use bridge to connect it to this part so keep up with me